welcome to this year's Power Walking video. This year we were able to go to Georgia and interviewed some people in the Atlanta area and the rest of the South. We've been in Colorado and California, but we've really been able to see how people are evolving in their knowledge about energy and the environment. But there's a lot of things they still don't know. So do you know what the difference between a kilowatt hour and a kilowatt is? I don't. Can you guess? Know. It's probably just the amount of power used. But. Which one is the amount? Um, the watt part and the kilowatt would be the difference between the regular. Okay. I know this. I just can't remember right now. One's a, a thousand, one's ten thousand. A kilowatt. No, kilowatt hour is the use of a kilowatt for an hour. And a kilowatt is the rate of uh, energy. How do you know that? Oh, went to school. Give it a shot. Oh, shoot. Um, kilowatt, measure, they measure different things. Um, well, that's, this is what you buy. Well, you buy these every single month, and you don't know what they are? No. It's been don't a long you, time since I took physics. Don't you think you ought to know what you're spending $100 a month on? I mean, if you go into the grocery and you just bought a bottle and you didn't know what was in it, well, that wouldn't make any sense. True, but I know that if, by paying my bill, I can turn my lights on and off and I can get water. I would say that a kilowatt hour lasts about an hour. How many uh, kilowatt hours do you use per month? Uh, what is the what? And how long does a kilowatt last? Real quick. Split second. Okay, I'll buy that. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's actually a pretty good answer. How many kilowatt hours do you think you use over the course of a year? Boy, that's a ridiculous question. Um, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna ballpark it and go with twenty-five thousand. No, that doesn't even make sense. I'm gonna go with five hundred. Five hundred kilowatt hours. Yeah. Per year. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you average the two, you're almost exactly right. That's, that counts. That's like Can't. a B on a curve. I got a B in a, on a test that's graded with a curve. I would have just gotten a B with my two answers. Where, where did you go to school? I don't. If, if you tried hard as you could, let's say over the next year to save energy in your home, what percentage do you think you could save if you needed to? Oh, I'd say uh, maybe a good 30%. 10%, I would hope at least. I could do 20%. Could you? How about you? Yeah, probably 10 or 20. 10 or 20, not bad. 30. I really couldn't say too much. 40 percent, we probably could I don't say. Know how we can you said none, she says 30 or 40 percent? You live in the same she, house? We do, but she's better at I am than I am. Well, I'm worried about the chandeliers in the bathrooms. Why, first of all, why do you have chandeliers in the bathroom? Do you eat in there? No, but they look fabulous. <laughs> they look great. It's light. It's a lighting oh, it's fixture. Gorgeous. It's not a chandelier. It is so a chandelier. It's, it's, it's great. <laughs> we'll go with 25. What's the easiest thing for you and your family to do to save energy at home? Uh, to have everything insulated properly and uh, keep the thermostat at a reasonable uh, setting. What? Energy efficient light bulbs. Energy efficient light bulbs. Make sure you turn off all the lights. Turn off the lights. Make sure you don't use that much water. Um, I would say just unplug anything, any kind of electronics so that because they still use energy even though they're off. So they look like they're off but they're not really off. Yeah. Like what? A lot of times they'll be on standby, which is just, it's not its not completely off, it's just sitting there. Um, when I'm brushing my teeth, I turn it off, <laughs> like while I'm so brushing weird. it. Well, is that the electric toothbrush or your manual one? <laughs> manual. Like, yeah. yeah. So you turn off your manual toothbrush? That's right, right, yeah. <laughs> Right, that's a unique answer. So Using a fan instead of the air conditioner? Mm -hmm. In the winter, how cold before you got to turn the heater on? I actually didn't turn my heat on this year. Um, at all? At all. We used space heaters instead of using the heat. Well, was... That counts as heaters. Okay, well... Well, I try to ed educate my children a little bit on recycling, reusing, things like that. Do you use power strips to turn off your electronics? Um, yes. I think so. Yes, I do. So you turn you turn the power strip off itself? Oh, nope. Well, I, I don't use it, my air conditioning. I just open the windows to get a natural breeze, saving energy as I shower at work. 
Well, that's not saving any so energy. It's not really saving energy. That's saving me money on my, my gas bill. And other things I do to save energy include making sure the doors are closed in the winter. Now that I'm paying my own electric bill, I am very conscious about pay, you know turning off all the lights whenever we're not using it in the room. Why do you turn your coffee pot off? Because on the news they said that I could, if I unplug it, since it has the little, like, it's one of those things that zap electricity, you leave it on and it has a little clock on it and stuff, so if you unplug it, it's supposed to not drain as much energy. Good for you. How much does that probably save you per year? <laughs> probably nothing. I don't know. I have no idea. What, what are the top three things that you can do in medieval Europe to save energy? Um, don't move. I, I just want you guys to know that I did not plan this. I did not do anything Dinner. to deserve Dinner. this. But um, what what do you do to save energy? Uh, I turn off the lights when I leave home. Uh, a talking chicken turns off the lights. Thank you, talking chicken. Bye. Yes, dinner. You heard of something called the smart grid? No, I'm not familiar with that. No. I have not. Never, not even a little bit? The what? Smart grid? Yeah, no. No. N no. What does it sound like it is? Computerized something. What does it sound like it is? Um, it sounds like, well, I know there, there's an energy grid. Right. And so if it's something that allocates energy where it's needed, when it's needed, mm -hmm. is that that's, as, as that's much as, as I could think? Well, uh, that's actually as good an explanation as the experts have ever given me. Okay, let's try that again. Smart grid. Wiggle your ears if you've heard of the smart grid. That's good. And, and make your ears go forward if smart grid is good for the uh are you guys on Twitter? No. Nope. Why not? I think it's kind of stupid, I to agree. be honest. I think it's just so February. you guys use any social media? Uh, Facebook, MySpace, Twitter? Yes, I'm a realtor, so I use all the above. Are you on Twitter? Not right now, I just went. You heard of Twitter? Yeah. What's Twitter? It, it's, it's people are Twittering and they, they, they write in all kinds of things. What's Twitter mean? I don't know. I don't know. Just you're, you're looking texting, at dinosaurs. Texting. You're talking to a couple of dinosaurs. Everybody's yeah. texting. They're all texting all to each other. Yeah. yeah, we're not into that. If what I about? to talk to someone, I'd rather pick up the phone and call them. Why would you do that? Yep. How easy is it to understand your utility bill? I have no idea. I just look at what I owe and when it's due by. <laughs> I actually get an e-bill, so I don't even pay much mine. <laughs> so you don't pay any attention to it at all? Yeah, not really. I, yeah. see, I see the uses sometimes when the bill is way higher than expected. Yeah. but It's usually pretty e easy and spelled out. So I really don't read it. I just look at how much I owe and then pay it. They could be ripping you off. They could be. What was your last bill? Was it over $30,000? No. It was like forty. Is it pretty easy to understand your energy bill? You know what? No, it's not. There's all kinds of calculations on it, basically, and then there's the bottom line. This is how much you owe. Right. So no, it's not very easy. It's not very user friendly at all when you look at the bill. I've never really looked at it, to be honest with you. I just pay it. Are you ever late? Always. Does utility get mad at you for being late? I received a phone call. I'm not kidding. Yesterday morning about my overdue bill. And did that get you to to move and pay your bill? No. Because I don't get paid till Friday. <laughs> And how much does a pound of carbon weigh? I don't know. How much does a pound of carbon weigh? No idea. No idea? Can you guess? One unit. <laughs> Very good. One unit. Ooh, pound of carbon dioxide. Now, now I'm Canadian, so I don't think in pounds, and so I'm going to have to convert that. Let's see. I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, a pound of anything should weigh a pound. Oh, oh, oh. One, one mole of carbon dioxide, I think, is 22.4 grams, roughly. A pound of carbon dioxide doesn't weigh anything. Why not? Uh, well, it's a gas, and it... it uh, no, it weighs a pound. Oh, it weighs a pound. There you go. So, I, I would have to... I would have to whip out a calculator. There.